Hi, you are watching Christian Vibes TV, your favorite gospel entertainment blog house in Ghana, West Africa, and the whole world of large. If you like our videos, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell to receive post notifications and alerts. I mean, gospel content globally, everywhere. That's why we are global. Okay, so if you are new here, can you do it to subscribe to the page? Leave some comment down below, like our videos, share, 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 moon share, All right? Moon share, share the link. And then when you are done, you tap on the notification bell for us. Then you are not dropping video, you can probably be the first person to come and watch us. We are building the community, and the community is for everybody. Everybody, yes, everybody, believers, non believers, everybody is for everybody. But we are doing a kingdom work. Yes, that is Christian vibes for you. So if you are new here, can you stay here and let's vote today? Uh, I saw an article on social media and I wanted to share something some more about it. I think I saw it, I, I think I saw it on Pulse Ghana. Yes, I saw it on Pulse Ghana. And I'm very, very interested in this article. And the, the heading was John Mensah. I hope you all know John Mensah. When you talk about John Mensah, I mean, those of you who follow football, I mean, more I'm with the football team, you know? Black Stars, yeah, yeah, ex Black Stars players, you know? he was once a captain in the Ghana Black Stars. Yes. John Mensah, ex Black Stars captain, ventures into evangelism and after retirement. So we all know that John Mensah have retired from the football, I mean, yeah, something. He has retired from football. And right now, the news reaching us is that John Mensa is now venturing or entering into evangelism. Yes. Wherever you are working, that is the best place for you to evangelize. Into a banker, and you're a musician, you're a physician, you're a doctor. You have people around you. You have quite a number of people around you who either you are working with or they are working for you, both ways. You have that right to, I mean, sometimes let the gospel reach them. Let some evangelism, you know, reach them. And we've, we've seen quite a number of footballers who, who I won't lie to you that they've taken that step. Now, I, I won't, I'll say, I think John, is it John Pinto? Yes. Quite some major black star players, our ex black star players have, you know, try to dedicate themselves into um, evangelism, preaching, doing the work of God, which is very good. Do you get it? After retirement, after working, your hard days of, your hard past days of working on, you decide to venture into the kingdom of God, venture into the ministry, which is a, a, a big, a big green flag. Someone say a big green flag. Do you get it? So this one, it says, it talks about John Mensah, which we all know that John Mensah has played a major role or a major lead when it comes to the Ghana Black Stars. Led us to a uh, World Cup, did some magical at the defense there. You know, those football levels, you know what I'm talking about. But now, John Mensah is on the social media and he's saying that now he's into evangelism, he's, to, he's into preaching, he's into, I mean, doing the work of God, which, Charlie, it's a plus. It's a plus for everybody. So the article says, former Ghana captain John Mensah has disclosed that he has been dedicating the majority of his time to the service of God and the church since hanging his boots. It's a fitting ra oh, I've hanged my boots. I'm not going to play ball again. I'm not going to do football again. I'm not going to venture into anything on the field again. I know but he's been training, although I will have to enter into the ministry. They get after everything. It's not even about sometimes, even before you get everything, you have to involve God. And after everything, you have to involve God. God first, God last. So now John Mensah, after his retirement, after hanging his boots, he decided to venture into evangelism, which is a good decision. So the 41 year old was kept was capped 83 times for his country after making his international debut in 20, 2001 against Algeria. Yeah, while the ex line defender hasn't been seen in the media since retiring in 2017. So he's, he made he hanged his boot in the year 2017. And you know, he has been off the, the, the media, he has been off the, the space. We don't know where he was till now. He made an appearance at last Saturday's Ghana Football Awards. 
opening up on what he has been up to. Mensah said he is currently dedicated to the church, insisting he's been worshiping and, evangeliz and evangelizing. Hey! <laughs> insisting he's been worshiping and evangelizing. I'm just keeping, this is what he said, I'm just keeping myself in the church all the time since I'm no longer on the field. That's how I'm keeping myself cool, he said, as quoted by Joy Sports. My church is the Resurrection Power New Generation Church. I'm just worshiping there, but I keep my faith in God Almighty to worship him well. Advise my people and go evangelism to help others to know God very well. So it's very, very good when we have such people coming into the ministry to dedicate, to devote themselves to do the kingdom work. And I won't lie you, a lot of people have, have taken that advice, have taken that decision. And he's not the only person doing this. We have quite a number of celebrities, quite a number of footballers. I mean, popular who, people were even uh, doing secular songs, who were doing, uh, doing, yeah, and now they've changed to become plenty. This is what we need in the kingdom. We want everybody to be in touch with God. We want everybody to come under his canopy. We want everybody to know, to spread the gospel to every, everybody out there who is watching whatever. Yes, we want the kingdom of God to spread very, very large. So John Mesa is here saying that now he's fellowshipping or he's worshipping with the Resurrection Power New Generation Church. Uh, I think it's a casual, right? Uh, yeah, I think the casual stretch. I remember after the toe boots, yeah, that church. So, yeah, those who have seen him in, in church most of the time, you know what I'm talking about. So, this is what we have for you today. And my question is, what are you going to venture into after your retirement? What are you going to venture into after your retirement? Are you going to open a Buja Buja store? Are you going to open a supermarket? Are you going to, I don't know. Leave your comments in the, in the, in the comment section and let me know. What are you going to venture into after, I mean, you going on a retirement after 60, 70 years and you feel like the body is, you know, no more strong enough to do up and down? Yes. Let me know in the comment section below. This is Christian Vibes TV, your number one Christian channel for all your Christian content right here, everywhere in Ghana, globally. Kindly subscribe to the page, leave some comment down below. And my name is Brad Kobe. I'm signing out. Peace. Hi, you are watching Christian Vibes TV, your favorite gospel entertainment blog house in Ghana, West Africa, and the whole world of lunch. If you like our videos, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell to receive post notifications and alerts.